Okay. We come together this morning. We're going to start our, our uh, service today with a affirmative prayer, which we call treatment. Because we're treating our consciousness to accept the truth. And what we want to keep in mind today is divine guidance. Divine guidance. And what we want to do is we want to know for ourselves that divine guidance is always available to each and every one who is open and receptive to it. And the importance of this today is that as we listen to the news reports, read the papers, those sorts of things, the information that we are getting is based on the law of averages. On average, it takes X number of months to find a treatment and Y number of months to find a vaccine. And the percentages say that so many people will get sick and so many of those will go to the hospital and so many of those will die. And all of that is true in terms of what race consciousness expects. But all of that can change in a minute as inspiration, as revelation, and as divine guidance breaks through the shell of race consciousness and shows us the way. There is one life, one perfect life. We can call it God, we can call it love, we can call it nature, we can call it spirit, we can call it principle, we can call it first cause, but it is ineffable. It is the I am of Moses, it is the isness or the suchness of the Buddha. It is the Father within of the Christ. It is expressing itself omnisciently as all wisdom. And it is omnipresence, which means it is all presence, not just everywhere present, but all presence is its presence expressing its life here on this earth. The divine mind knows everything that is to be known on its command the nothingness of the energy created the universe and the galaxies and the stars and the planets and the vegetation, and the fish, and the birds, and the mammals, and us. And we are all, each of these expressions of life is an expression of its presence. And since it is all-knowing, and it is all-presence, everything that needs to be known is available everywhere at all times in us as us around us and through us and through each and every person whether they be scientists or doctors or paramedics or politicians Divine guidance is present in them and available to them. So we, we relax in peace. We rest in peace. Knowing that the perfect way to deal with this situation is already available. 
we are grateful to know that breakthroughs in treatment, that breakthroughs in prevention, that breakthroughs in vaccine, that breakthroughs in thinking of how to lovingly deal with this situation to protect and to preserve as much life as possible to have sympathy and empathy for those who are suffering all of this information is available and it is now flowing to and through each and every one who is open and receptive to finding a better way. We are grateful to know that we are a part of an omniscient universe. We are grateful to know that whatever is known within us is known everywhere. <clears throat> We are grateful to know that the Divine would not withhold any information. And we are grateful to know that right now it is in fact being accepted. It is in fact breaking through the limitations of race consciousness. Breaking through the expectations of the law of averages. And showing everyone a better way. We are grateful to know there's a power in the universe that responds to us according to our belief. So we release this word as a statement of our belief that has already set in motion that power that responds to us according to our belief and is right now producing within our consciousness, within all consciousness, the avenue the opening, the opportunity through which the answer to this affirmative prayer is now flowing. We release this treatment to that perfect law, knowing so certainly it is done, that we say together, <clears throat> and so it is. <clears throat>